hello and welcome back to Outer Worlds. So we found a chip for the robot last time. And we might be able to really, uh, activate the robot. And after that, we're just gonna head back to Terra 2 and uh, get the rest of the research. And who knows, maybe sell it or just uh, return to Gladys. Install the acid steeper. Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer! This SAM unit is unable to locate your registered information. Would That's you good. like to register your SAM? Right. Yes. Registering new owner. Captain. Oh. Just Captain? Uh, welcome to the crew, Sam. SAM units live to clean and clean to live. Okay. That's it. Issuing sanitation ticket. Error. Refill printer paper. Good work, Sam. Oh, you're fired. Good work, Sam. Thank you, customer. All cleaning tasks have been completed. Scheduling next round of cleaning to commence in four minutes. <laughs> right. Where do you come from? All SAM units travel fully assembled in a 12x12 12 12 corrugated steel box. I mean, <clears throat> like, wherever you made? Did you know SAM units are capable of equipping regulation-grade flamethrower nozzles? Upgrade your attachment today and get to firing away! Doesn't seem super uh, handy for cleaning stuff. Okay. I suspect that uh, he can be a companion, or he is a companion, and will just uh, come with me eventually. Ooh. No, 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 that's not what we want. Return to Orson, return to Anton. So we can start returning part of the stuff we got. So we can take Sam with us, if he wants. Or just go with the team of uh, Parvati and Ellie. I know this looks a little weird, but this is uh, because the, the 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 newest driver in AMD is a little bit weird. And I, I, I didn't roll back the, uh, the AMD driver just for that. Hopefully there's gonna be a new AMD driver out. And uh, this is the AMD life. Oh crap, what we got here? Come guys. Oh, light pistol MK2. What the hell? That's pretty good. 320 DPS? The fuck? That's better than my bloody rifle. 320 DPS? What the hell? How's this pistol so good? And how did I ignore it? Alright. Wow. Light Pistor Tier 2, basically. Uh, we already had a ch chat with everybody here. Oh, hello. Uh, why do you seem familiar? Have we met? We have. No, where are you again? No, no. I'll just lie. Now, who are you again? I am Orson Shaw, Chief Behavior... Wait. Yes, I'm quite sure we've met. My apologies. Have you retrieved my schematics yet? Yep, yeah, got him right here. 
What a relief. You hold months of work in your hands. Hold on. Force weapons are contraband. Why didn't you turn this in when you found it? Anton would have just given them to Porter without a second thought. What a waste of potential that would have been. Uh, these are valuable schematics. I could sell them for quite the profit. Hmm. Sadly true. Contraband does tend to fetch a high price among the colony's ne'er-do-wells. So be it. I'll buy them off of you. What? How did my reputation decrease? Nah, uh, did... Actually, I already have a buyer for these, so I'm just gonna keep them. I might have guessed. Such are the risks when hiring mercenaries. Very well, I have got no ability to stop you. Without those schematics, I'll never be able to repair this pistol. What am I going to do with this useless hunk of junk? <laughs> I could bite off you for a few bits. Well, it's not like I have a choice in the matter. Here, take it. Now leave, and see that I am never again insulted by your presence. Wow, what a... Oh. <laughs> what an outcome. It's a force pistol. I need to repair it. It would cost me quite a few weapon parts. Doesn't seem that good. <laughs> what? I basically just did that just to be a dick. Uh, we can talk to Anton about Jameson. Let's do that. Of course we have to talk to him again, eventually, but also, partly what, what I'm getting, we can also trade to Gladys, You've I believe. returned. What news? Please tell me you've recovered my research. Without my work to focus on, I find myself tending towards darker paths of inquiry. Nah, but I found your tip-top worker. Jameson. I didn't do right by him, did I? only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. Ah, I'm not gonna lecture him. That's not really for me to say, Anton. I'll be off. Find Anton safe. Deal with the Raptodons and deal with the Outlaws. So with this, we can check out the region. And we, we just have to go there. Alright, let's get out of town. Uh, one thing that I would like is uh, perhaps uh, talk to a merchant. Sell our junk. Did security talk to you yet? No, no, I just want to trade. Annie Cleo makes the best pharmaceuticals in You said that. Uh, let's sell all junk. And I think that might be just good enough for now. Because I have, I think, enough uh, carry weight. But we can also sell stuff, right? Hey, you're. Uh, yeah, I'm still around. Annie Cleo makes the best. Let's maybe sell some stuff. Let's, let's see. Let's start with guns. Let's list by weight value and start selling. Uh, a plasma launcher. Not too bad. Looks kind of interesting. A uh, plasma rifle is trash. Shotguns are trash. Uh, Dead eye assault rifle. I think one is enough. And the companions certainly will not use it. Uh, plasma carbine. I'm not using that now. Can sell that, sell that to Auto Mech Pistol. Can sell the shrink ray. 
that I just never use. I also never use the Force Ultimator pistol. Well, I just got it, but I will never use it. It just seems like not me. I'm, I'm not really amazing with handguns either. I don't use the shrink ray. Plasma launcher is something I, I might use. Alright, let's see. What we got here? Weight value ratio. We're keeping this for lockpicking. Tech skills. Sneaking. Tech skills. Long guns helmet, but it's weak. Uh, weak helmet. Melee weapon. Uh, Dialogue cloak. Uh, we don't need this because I, I have armor. Uh, but we might keep that. Science helmet. I think that's something we can get rid of. Medical helmet. Engineering clothing. Only engineering. Uh, dialogue skills, 19. Look at that, how many modifications we have here. Uh, huh? Corrosive armor rating. Volume of footsteps. Uh, this is not interesting. So we should sell that. Uh, let's keep that. And just call it for now. And I have enough carry weight now. Wow, pistols are actually really, really good. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. This carry weight, this amount of carry weight seems uh, acceptable. I was still struggling with 130. But now that we got 210. Oh, no, that's, no, that's a lot better. 2.30 actually. But sometimes we are thirsty. <laughs> We're tired. And we have less. Also, I'm gonna level up soon. Look at that. 1,722 extra bullets for the pistol. And apparently this pistol is just gonna be pretty good. Hmm. Oh, yeah, let's just take their stuff. It's 20 to 1. Weight value. Wow, light pistol mark 2. Like, level 16. Like, this is a really good light pistol. Uh, auto mag pistol. Now, that would be a good pistol to tinker with as well. Although, I'm, I'm not really good with pistols, but it's good to see that if we were interested in pistols, and it would be pretty good. Plasma rifle. Although currently I kind of have like a sniper-ish weapon. That I really like. It's kind of silly that the, the light pistol is just better than the assault rifle. Pulse hammer is actually quite good for selling. Oh, let's take the plasma cutter as well. The frosting machine. Uh, we're gonna keep an eye out for any points of interest. Uh, this is, yeah, the, the weapon I'm using right now is definitely a sniper. Like, it has uh, an effective range of 65 to 200. Like, this is not really needed. Whoa, what the hell? Why are you dressed like a ninja? I'm kind of tempted between uh, hitting the explosive barrel, but we might just shoot him in the face. In my sight. Oh no, guys! Uh, don't don't engage. Down they go. What the hell? Oh fuck. Slam dunk it. We need to stun that shit. Here we go. I'm just gonna take that guy in the back. Guys alright? 
What the hell? Okay, Ali managed to take some damage. The problem with this plasma gun is that I just don't find the enemies. After. Ah, uh, this is kind of trash. Very weak enemies here. Sure. Take your best shot, asshole. Oh fuck. You still have to deal with fall of damage with the pistol. Wait, can I find the enemies? I suppose the advantage of melee would be that uh, looting wouldn't be as tricky. Was he fighting? <laughs> Interesting pose, mate. They just don't have anything. I guess even if we could loot them, find all of them, uh, not like they would have much. You don't shoot, I won't shoot. Deal? Uh, yeah, I almost shot you. Wow, how are you not attacked? You must be in on this shit, right? Keep them hands where I can see them. What are you doing out here? Uh, <laughs> I could ask you the same. Was the getting shot at, bitten, or chased? You and me both. Name's Lillian. Lady named McCass hired my crew as gun hands. I got left here to watch for Cleo reinforcements. They all got pinned inside, so I can't say as I mind. So why are we having a conversation instead of a shootout? I'm sweaty. I got clawed by one of them monsters. I've been in the dirt all day, and I, I got bugs in places you don't need to know about. I'm on a fucking break. Got a smoke? Can't say I do. Oh, well. Figured it couldn't hurt to ask. What job are you working here, if you don't mind me asking? Don't mind the asking, but I ain't telling. You want details? Go talk at Miss High and Mighty What's-Her-Name. She's in the labs, pinned down. Why aren't you helping? If a whole team of gun hands can't get through anti-Cleo security, what makes you think I could alone? I ain't paid near enough to be dumb. Bad day, huh? I've had better. Lost some things in a dust-up. But I didn't get eaten like some of our crew. Got that going for me. I'm sorry. Were they friends of yours? Some of them were okay. You don't get too close in this work. And Dylan, well... Ain't no one gonna regret his passing. Least of all his mama. I was near the Raptodon pen when they got loose. Had to set a few to rights. When I got to checking if all my parts were still attached, I realized I'd dropped my cigarette case. Why didn't you go back and get it? When I turned about, I seen two fine gun hands being snacked on by lizards. No cigarette case is worth my life. No matter how badly I need a smoke. This was a Spacer's Choice commemorative case. Some promo for founding day they did back in, uh, I forget the year. Worth decent bits to collectors. If she can't hang on to it, maybe it'd be better off in someone else's hands. <laughs> Let's say I managed to nab it. Are you willing to pay to get it back? Well, you'd sure as hell have earned it, wouldn't you? I'd come around if I can get a hold of it. I'd be obliged. Don't lose any parts trying. What the hell? Okay. So we are heading in to find Anton safe or optional eliminating the outlaws and dealing with the Raptodons. We can't go in here. Covert lab. Let's go in there. 
I could use a silencer. <clears throat> also, like a very heavy single shot weapon with silencer would allow me to just one shot people. And I uh, just keep doing it. This pistol is decent. So, okay, level it up. Question is, uh, what do we put points in? It's, it's it's a question. I can get better with medical, maybe. I could also I can invest into ranged. At least like five ish points. Persuasion can also go up. Hmm. I don't care about melee, that's for sure. Yeah, we can go and push up medical to 40 to unlock another mix slot. Uh, however, that is worth not much. Wow, 25 bonus medical from Ellie and uh, 48 from both of them. Engineering, not bad. <laughs> I would basically, I, I would, I would have maxed engineering if I pushed it up to 40, because I can also bon uh, put bonus on it. Wow, that's that's some uh, pretty good bonus. But also, this is not a bonus that we can use in the field, I believe. Oh, actually, that, no, no. It's the bonus that we can only use in the field. So if I use this on the ship, I wouldn't have a bonus. Although it might not count anyway. So it's hard to say. Something to actually keep an eye out. Uh, well, I don't know. Persuasion. Like, we can just bring up maybe lying and intimidation a little bit. But I don't think that these breakpoints are important like uh reaching the the 40 skill point perks be quite pointless i can get a little bit better with long guns but i'm i'm decent shot right now you can also get better with determination and they would have more health and get healed more from the inhaler uh which is just good so every single point gives them uh, 10 health so this would give them a hundred health like yeah basically hundred health and uh, an extra skill which is just cool uh, we can definitely use that <clears throat> but I might wanna just get a little bit better fighting personally I can get better with handguns I can get better with long guns Uh, we can just revert this. Uh, what we can do is maybe like push up. Wait. Push up medical to 40. Then. Put the rest of uh, the points into ranged. And... Uh, I guess that's it for now. And now we have another drug mixing slot. A little bit better with engineering. So apply that. And we can use the other drug mixing slot to put in... Pff, I don't know what. Armor rating. Base health and armor rating. Well, okay then. I should also just uh, try to buy some stuff because I, I got pretty good at uh, getting some uh, money. I already got 20,000. But, uh, wow. Light Assault Rifle Mark II. Holy shit! Five hundred seventy-six DPS? Oh, the only downside of this Assault Rifle is that it only has a single target damage of 58 
I mean, like, single, single bullet, a damage of 58. So using it as a stealth weapon is probably not the best. So in this case scenario, it's not too big of a deal, like 64, uh, but for light ammo. This is 90. Tech shotgun is just trash. Okay, let's just replace it with the light assault rifle. And uh, obviously this is the highest DPS weapon I got. This would be actually preferable for the companions. If you could find that, if you could find extra ones, I'm just gonna give it to the companions, but because I, I'm only good at long guns, I guess I'm gonna keep uh, the first one we find. Found. Uh, plasma rifle. Is that any good? Uh, it can be worth selling. Label on the canister states, Anti Cleo's Rapti Gun is a guaranteed to render even the largest Raptodon unconscious for no less than 6 hours. And has a refreshing antiseptic scent. Should a method for gas dispersal be found, this canister may prove very useful. Wow, okay. It's certainly not too big to carry around, apparently. These are very pricey. Yeah. Yeah, what, what I would mod in this game is uh, I would uh, give individual hotkeys to... Like this whole use uh, consumables alongside your or Adreno, just the uh, heal is just kind of dumb, I think. At least I don't really get it. I would just... The, the whole point here is that obviously they wanted to make it a, a console-friendly game. And... Uh, it's pretty easy to see. Even when you're like ordering people around, you, got it. you don't have like... Uh, you have like go there, but you don't got have it. a button for come back. You have the same button, but you need to hold it. Head back. So just to save down, just save on buttons. But of course, this uh, slows down the input. So instead of, uh, well, obviously you, you usually you don't, you're not much in a hurry to get them back. But still, I wouldn't mind a button for that. But in case for the consumables, it's it's kind of needed. So frankly, I would just go for more of a PC game kind of feel that you have more hotkeys to work with. Oh... Uh, Infernal Sight. I guess we can sell that. These are not really amazing stuffs. 26. Yeah, not super high level either. I might not use that uh, rifle now. Oh, light assault rifle mark two. So now we got an extra. And uh, Ellie might start using that. Alright, don't get. Okay, I need. Sure. More canisters. <clears throat> I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is that we got a spread problem. Thanks to the little monsters chewing on our wires, our ventilation system is temporarily offline. If your raptodons are cranky, 
you need to sedate them manually. Bring a few canisters of sedative and hook it up to the auxiliary terminal in the main research chamber. The good news is that my Hephaestus hammers clubbered your precious Brizos rangers. Would you care for some anti-Cleos? Uh, Tripical, pass the sauce with your humble pie. Wow. Please explain the unmitigated disaster I'm currently holding in my hand. I have here a form approving the relocation of our raptidon mother to the main hall. A form signed by you. First of all, the structural integrity of our raptidon tanks are not nearly sufficient to contain an enraged raptidon mother. Secondly, raptidons are notoriously territorial and extremely protective of their young. Please stop me if I'm using too many numbers for you. I know you have a problem with basic arithmetic, seeing how you don't seem to realize that Raptodon Mother plus Raptodon Tank equals murder. Respectfully yours, Gail. Yeah. Someone clearly fucked up. Security blade. Mark II weapons. This place is kind of big. It is. <laughs> uh, where do we. How do we go about exploring it? Imagine using melee in this scenario, it would be just so dumb. And just unnecessary risk. Some dumb spray. Flamethrower? Uh, just a regular flamethrower, not a, like a Mark II flamethrower. What? Hey! You! Over here! Yeah, I see you. Oh good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. I know, never met anyone named Crane. <laughs> I suppose it does not matter. Either Crane sent you, or you are some scavenger come to rob me in my moment of weakness. Let's make a deal. I'd like to go on living. You'd probably like to make some money. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for your trouble. You're going to have to make a better offer. You mean other than the satisfaction of doing me a good turn? Trust me, I'll make it worth your while. Too wake. I don't know, my vault is worth uh, a lot. I am good for my word. You will be equitably rewarded on my honor. But I will not haggle or bargain with you until you help me. Very convenient. I can just leave you with those uh, beasts uh, till you are ready to talk. Tell me what you need. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of here. Really? There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay, but you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. Hmm. I'm going to need a good reason to risk my neck for you. 
Because Crane is a tool. Because no good deed goes unrewarded. Because doing me a good turn is the honorable and decent thing. Take your pick. How stupid do you think I am? Why is this the honorable thing to do? What kind of reward are we talking about? The research I carry is valuable. I am willing to go halves with you. Yeah, but currently I kind of have all of it because you're being trapped. That's not good enough. And I will gladly negotiate with you, but only after you free me. All right, I'll help you. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I don't want her to destroy the data. Just because she thinks she's getting killed by me. <laughs> uh... Sit tight. Take your time. I am, to my chagrin, not going anywhere. Can you just climb out of here? Seems like a hole that would fit you. Assuming this is... It does seem like just a... Uh, yeah. It does seem like a hole. Basically how it goes that if you can, if you can fit through your head, kind of, you can fit through your... Well, that's not exactly true, but like... It can, if you can fit through your head, then you should be able to squeeze through your body. As long as the the hole is uh, wide enough. But uh, the head is the... Is the widest part of your body. Unless you're a little chub chub. But <clears throat> she doesn't... She's not. So it seems like she should be able to get out. Ooh, another light assault rifle, Mark II. And then we re replace the old reliable for that. Actually, the old reliable might have an advantage that the magazine size is higher. But we shall see. We certainly can't bust her out right now, seemingly. We need a, a code card for that. Can we bust her out? I don't think we can. Yeah, it's not not even possible to. <clears throat> it's not even possible to lockpick it. This place is pretty big. I I'm gonna. Uh, find it a bit hard to make a mental image of this place and keep uh, in mind what we already explored and what not. And we have a lot of missions here. Greeno. Oh no, I don't I don't want to use the left. Not yet. Okay, so we keep in mind of the lift. Wait. Is this a lift that takes me to a new area? No, it doesn't take me to a new area. It just moves me around the same area. But I guess we use it. Oh shit, the concussive mine! No, it's not concussive. Did I die? What's going on here? It's acid, and it's gonna keep happening for seven minutes, uh, seven seconds. Oh, I'm addicted to food now. Uh, 
You can't seem to stop yourself from eating, even food that's bland or horribly flavored. Not eating often will cause withdrawals. Now this would probably result us uh, having uh, to use uh, food very frequently, or else we uh, suffer the withdrawal symptoms, which are quite uh, significant. And also perks are not super valuable. I don't think this... I think this would mostly be annoying, so I'm just gonna reject it. Although I don't necessarily wanna pick the these... Uh, these uh, up based on how valuable and convenient it could be, but I think I think this would be just inconvenient. Very much so. Or not much upside. It wouldn't be fun. There's a way of talking to them. It's Mark Two. Oh, we're basically not dealing any damage to it with physical attacks. Plasma cutter. Oh, that's kind of worth selling. Just come, girls. Oh, office key card. More plasma cutters. Light assault rifle, Mark II. Officer spine. I need to uh, change my gun. It has a different type of damage. Oh, this is the front entrance. Is it? I should try it. Elite troop armor, sure. I'll just see where this leads. I'm definitely curious. So we entered this place, no? I think so. I think we enter entered over here. And now uh, we came out the other way. Ah, but this is all the same location. Oh, look at that sign! We can go check out right. Oh, what? What the fuck? Hey, guys. And they are here, and now they are totally cool with me. I don't have time for this. You don't? Tech shotgun. It's kind of trash. We can just keep killing these people. But that might affect my reputation. So... With anti-Cleo... They don't like me that much! Vendor prices are increased! Wow. So, we came from the back here. Hey. Uh, the Light Piston Mark II is just really good. What the hell is going on this, in this toilet? These pistols are really good. I just keep looking at the map so I can uh, figure out how to move around in this place easier. Magnum. They can't keep a 
us out. They don't really want to. Bracelet. That was quick. I like this lockpicking system. It's not instant. And also you don't have to do a dumb mini game. Even even good games uh, fall for this. Uh, I won't tell. It just becomes lame after a while. I wouldn't mind if uh, some players enjoy that, and then they can have that. But it's just not something I personally like. So uh, that's why I prefer it. I can up my lock picking. Do I have any penalties? I'm a little thirsty. So maybe find something to drink, which is actually easier said than done. PZT? PZT is good. And uh, no, it cost me nothing. Get in. You got nimble fingers, Captain. You can also hack. Let's let's hack. So I assume either hacking or or lock picking would have been uh, sufficient to get in there. But I like to have both. And usually you might not need both in games. In these type of games, but uh, you kind of need both to gain access to everything. But you probably want at least one. At this point, I just don't see why you wouldn't want to have both because it just doesn't cost me as much. Pick up the vermin special pistol. Wow, I have a lot of stuff with me. That's just complete garbage. Okay, security lockdown. We can use the workbench. The tinker with the light assault rifle. Making it better. For no cost whatsoever. You just keep making it better. Go by four. Tinkered items can no longer can be no greater than five levels above your own. All right, I increased the damage of the rifle uh, uh, and uh, its level. Increase your character level to tinker this item. Very interesting. I didn't realize that's uh, that there's a limit to it. Uh, we can also tinker um, armor, I guess. It would go up a little bit. Not by a lot. It's... Anti-riot gear. I'm just gonna put, put, up, put it up to level 16. It, it just costs more and more to tinker, so... Ultimately, you're just encouraged uh, to replace it. What I should do is modify this gun. Buying noise, 66%. Yeah. Maybe we can use this to kill people. Noise range drops down from 20 meters to 10 meters. Right? Magazine free. I don't think we can apply anything else. We, we can maybe apply this. Seemingly, I don't. I don't care too much about that. Barrel. I don't think we can put on more. Now we have. We have. Uh, already have a barrel mod. Magazine size. Uh, this is not super useful. What I want is maybe go with shock damage. So it's good against robots, I guess. Increases the range uh, by quite a bit. Actually, the effective range is already really good. I might not want to put on uh, this this dump site on it. 
it could really prevent hamper its use. Maybe lower the spread. It should be okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't want to put a dump scope on it. Oh, he's not sleeping. And oh, incoming. We're pretty good at this. I didn't quite see if uh, shock deals more damage to the robots, but I, but I assume it does. Maybe plasma deals more damage to unarmored. Or I'm not sure. It should deal a lot of damage. Ooh, scrap mechanical. Oh, I kinda wanted the auto save, but Hey the robots. Wow. I guess I'm not making friends in this location. I'm just taking all their stuff. It's okay, I would rather make uh, friends with Groundbreaker. Ooh. Create an escape route. We made a key card. Release Cassandra. Telescoping staff, Mark II. Ah, uh, I guess. Quiet muzzle. Adreno. Not bad. Alright. Leave this place. This place is huge. We even have multiple floors. Now these spacer colonies uh, really work. I wouldn't mind seeing one that kind of works. Not like Edgewater. The safe has been forcibly opened, with its contents tossed about haphazardly. The remaining notes refer to various aborted projects. Anton's prize research is nowhere to be found. Scorch marks along the rim suggest the work of unsubtle thieves, outlaws, most likely made of with Anton's work. <clears throat> the Aethos batch is showing a great promise, Anton, and though I hesitate to tempt the fates, I might even dare to say it's a smashing success. Incidents of uh, cavities have dropped significantly in the test subjects using the toothpaste, with only minor side effects, nothing too serious. Mind you, just a touch of blindness, so if you could look into that it would be much appreciated. Keep this up and you'll find yourself in Byzantium post haste. Upon further review of your results, you've uncovered something quite fascinating. While the toothpaste does reduce cavities, it does so nominally more than the current version. Our results were skewed by the fact that our test subjects had a marked decrease in appetite and hence were eating much less. That will teach us to monitor our subjects more closely, eh? Seriously though, the appetite suppressant qualities of this new formulation are quite incredible. Though the Taste and texture leave something to be desired, so we'd like to, for that to be your focus moving forward. No need to waste any more time on the blindness thing. We got that 
we got the boys in marketing working on a solution on our end. Oh, boys in marketing. Seriously, Anton, you really must let the whole blindness thing go. Your dedication to solving it is admirable, but also a bit misguided, I dare say. It's really not that big of an issue in the grand scope of this whole thing and pales in comparison to the texture and flavor issues, which we would prefer for you to spend all your time on. You are also mistaken about our ultimate goals for the product. The appetite uh, suppressant qualities make this something much more valuable in the townships than even in Byzantium. The need for less food to satisfy our workers can add greatly to our bottom line. So, marketing is focusing their efforts in that direction. I'm not certain, but that may have something to do with them rejecting your epizap suggestion for the name. Let's leave marketing to the marketing department, shall we? Yeah, but just because people don't feel hungry, it doesn't mean they don't need food. <sighs> Of course, like, the entire thing is absurd. But the whole point of appetite, uh, appetite suppressants is that it allows you to uh, lose weight easier. And if you're in the situation where you're kind of starving, um, Probably shouldn't be a like your your least amount. Of, yeah, your smallest problem is that uh, that you feel hungry, right? Like, yeah, you you feel hungry, but that that shouldn't be the the big your big concern. Your big concern is that you actually need sustenance. And if you were ever in that situation, you would probably you should probably uh, prioritize not getting food first, but uh, like water and shelter. But long run, yeah, you need uh, you need food, and uh, suppressing your appetite is certainly not gonna do it. Also, you might be surprised that if you just don't eat, uh, your appetite might uh, just well probably gonna get suppressed somewhat. I I don't, I don't really know. Not like I I have experienced starving myself too much, but uh, yeah, you can uh, normalize your appetite. I, I know that. For sure. So if you're just used to eating too much and you just feel like you just need to keep that doing that, if you just uh, uh, lower your portions, you might just get used to that easily. But of course, uh, our, our foods these days are kind of designed to make you keep eating because that's how money is made, right? You know. If your business is food, you want people to eat as much of it as possible and just get hungry and like the smell of it make them hungry and they just kind of stay hungry and make the food as delicious as possible uh, without much consideration given to uh, how good it is for people to consume it. So they don't really mind that I'm stealing stuff. Persuasion plus five. I'll just scrap it. So many people dead. Heavy grade face mask determination. That's no good. But I don't get encumbered. <laughs> yes, I managed to get encumbered with 230 carry weight. Ah. Uh, 60 weight per value here. 105 weight per value here. Wow, 30 weight per value here. And what about this? Value to weight ratio. This is 7. I guess we can break this down. 
26. This is uh, 11. Weight value. It's kind of like heavier weight. It should be decent for now. Tech shotgun. Eh, I don't know. We might break it down. Weapon parts four. So yeah, some vending machines. Yeah, I was always yeah, I was already here. This to just leave weapons all over, or is it just whoever works it? Yeah, this place is weird. Heavy machine gun. That's not Mark II. Just just a regular heavy machine gun. After this, we need to go trade. Revolver Mark II. Uh, this is not as good as the pistol. I'm using. Seems like the revolver's main purpose is that it's just a uh, more ammo efficient version of the pistol. But the pistol is already pretty ammo efficient, so uh, not much point. I think I heard enough about this place. I don't necessarily want to read that. We have so many missions here. You better not attack me. Okay. It feels like I already explored this area. Oh shit. Ordnance control armor, it's not super heavy, weight value ratio, I don't know what to fucking do. I have no idea what to do, what, what's, oh maybe, oh yeah, some of the stuff that I put up, picked up recently. Uh, pro toss ball stick, yeah that's crap, uh, that's not bad. Yeah, whatever. I'll just get rid of those. There's not much we can do. Maybe I should just mark some consumables as junk. I think they are taking up space. I just don't use them. Did I already explore this place? Yeah, we definitely know about that. So, Porter's office, Anton's office, what are we missing here? Deal with the Raptodons, that's optional. And eliminate the outlaws, that's also optional. Oh, this is actually marking the, the Raptodons for me, apparently. Yeah, I was gonna go this way anyway. And I guess I'm not uh, feeling too bad about killing the Raptodons. This place is huge. Let's take the light pistol. Wow. That's Mon's lab. Reminds me of medical school. Let's scrap that. It's kind of heavy. Focus capsule. I really should go over all these consumables that I don't plan on using. And just start selling them. Vortex mace. Isn't that garbage? Ah. 
I mean, we can sell it. So for, yeah, ways one. Wrap the prod. Wrap the meat. Increases my base health. I think I have a lot of those. Maybe I should just start marking it as junk. I'm not sure if that's uh, marked as junk. Uh, can we just list by weight value here? Value weight ratio. This is terrible at the bottom. And this is the best. So we should look at the bottom. Space noodles. I can... I can add the junk. Well, most food is not super efficient. But I think some of it is just very not efficient. Like the meat we are finding. Although, it might be in junk. By default, it, it's not. It's not in junk. Oh man. What am I looking at? Yeah, cell value of nothing. So these are worth nothing. Dehydrated water. Uh, zero G brew. That increases personality at attribute. I just never use that. This basically takes up... Uh, well, it's not a crazy amount, but like for something that's not worth anything, it's it's significant. Oh man, where's all the meat going? Well, not here. So it's gotta be in the consumer. Oh yeah, we got wrapped it on meat here. What if I just return it? How much wrapped it on meat I got? I'm not even seeing it. Okay, let's just go with like pure weight. So we got 39 wrapped on meat. And I should just add it to junk. I can also drop it. Can I mark something as junk that it's permanently junk? Maybe the baked beans should be junk. And I can drop some of this. Like, let's just drop 10. I probably shouldn't pick that up at all. Oh, Cassandra. Uh, fancy seeing you here. So, I kind of went around. So, there's nothing else in this lab? Seems like that's it. I'm not sure how I bust you out from I over there. I would ask what was on your mind, but the answer is obviously me. What's wrong with you? Uh, leave the conversation. How is she so confident that I'm not gonna kill her? She's like, oh yeah, we're gonna split the money. Like, the way I see it, I got all the money now. So that's valuable. But the meat is not. But it can also be used as a way to... Uh, it can be consumed. Finally. Hey, you wanna die? I've never been so pleased at the sight of an open door. Please tell me you've cleared a way out of here. I can kill her, Cassandra O'Malley. I mean, she's not... I, I guess I don't have any love for this organization. But you should give me your the stuff you got. I cleared the, both parts out of here. Don't make me regret it. So you have. I am much obliged. And now, if you do not mind, I have had quite enough of this wretched place. Then it save your life for free. I'm going to need you to turn over that research. Oh, really? And why, pray tell, would I do a thing like that? <laughs> I checked around, the data is faulty. You can sell it for a gob of spit. Because you don't want a price on your head. 
I'm just gonna lie to her. <laughs> Damn and blast. I should have seen this coming. Here, take the damned research. Tell Crane I hope he chokes on it. I didn't save your life for free. Good. I never trust a freelancer who works for free. Come on, Cassandra. Throw in a little something for the orphans. Orphans? Is that what you are calling yourself now? Here. Let it never be said that I do not reward good work. Alright, thanks for that. I guess you're free to go. Oh shit, I picked up the rat raptor on meat again. But actually this would be a good uh, good test. Whether the raptor on meat would come, come in here. Where it's always junk. No! Uh, it's not marked as junk. I, I just, one time, throw it in the junk. Where the fuck is she? I was I was about to rob her too. God damn it! Is she a teleporter? <sighs> uh what? Yeah, we need to go upstairs. Pick up the vermin. I think I already picked up a vermin. That was called the vermin again. And it was just a bad pistol. Come that way. Oh, look at how big she is. Wow. Very big. Oh, shit. But that is indeed pretty big. Uh, can we just stun it? Oh my god. Her body almost died. I need to be damn careful. It would have sucked to lose a fight after all this time. Uh, we can install the sedative gas canister. If we really want to. Uh, but it's not gonna matter now. Maybe, maybe it didn't trigger yet, or maybe it's not uh, affecting this room. But he was not very sedated, was he? Oh. Now, now the gas is triggered. Hopefully it's uh, not harmful to humans. <laughs> well. This is what happens when you furrow. Mechanical sentry. Okay. So, what we got here? I gotta go by location. So, I dealt with the Raptodons. Uh, we eliminated the outlaws, apparently. We didn't recover in Anton's data. She stole Anton's data. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I lied to her and then she didn't hand it over, right? Like, why would I ask for the data when I say it's it's no good? Deal with the abandoned experiment or... Did, did she give it to me? I'm not sure. Uh, look at the map. Region. Apparently it's, it's still very... Okay, so, uh, map, this is in Wan's office, or lab, we have a little bit of unfinished business, uh, 
Oh. Recalibrate. Experiment. Speak it Vaughn. So, so far the musk extraction is coming along nicely. Pressure levers seem to be staying even. And variance in the sample seem to be at an acceptable tolerance. I thought these wraps uh, smelled bad on the outside now that they are cut open. Everyone is likely to avoid my lab for the rest of the day while I finish this up. Wait a sec. There's some kind of uh, commotion going on out in the, the hall. An alarm just started going off. Must be another damn security system check. Let me go see what's going on. Okay. So we did that. We have to speak with Vaughn. We have to speak with Anton. We have to return to Gladys. On the Groundbreaker. And we have to re retrieve Lillian's cigarettes as well. Super important. Is it in the air? Apparently? No, it's not. It's over there. That's that's outside. Did I check out everything inside here? This place is so huge. Yeah, we did that. We did that too. I think I did everything. It's easy to feel like I didn't, but I, th I think I did. Also, we're missing... Uh, a slot here. Uh, base health. Let's use the ketchup. Also a little uh, thirsty. Maybe drink uh, a glass of water. Use that. I shouldn't pick up the raptor meat. That's just trash. This play has some good guns, but other than that, also quite the adventure. Actually, my pistol is kind of breaking, so despite the higher DPS, uh, the build quality is pretty bad. Uh, we can go there. Quest type. Yeah. Anton and Vaughn and Gladys on the Groundbreaker, of course, we have to leave. And uh, Lillian cigarettes, but we might as well do that we're here. But anyway, this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.